Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. Weirdly enough, I almost forgot to start, uh, well actually, not, not to start, to hit the rec rec record button, so... I, uh, yeah, yeah, that's been kind of a fun thing. Now... Oh... Okay, gotta go back, gotta go back, I know where the map is. And, ouch. And getting the map is highly important in most areas, since I don't know them, uh... Like, specifically, like, hey, this way and that way. Well, I, I, I would know generally, but Crystal Peak is one of the areas I don't really know that one, that well. Oh, I can uh, hit it from there. But yeah, in this episode, I think um, we're gonna get through this area. Pretty much finish most of the things that need to be finished. And finally, like... Finally starts that one quest that I've been talking about for the past, like, video and a half. Together with this one, it would be two and a half videos. Come on, get closer. Okay, you, you, you wanted it. You're gonna get it. Okay, this way. Heal first. <sighs> yeah, if there's any drill sounds, I I'm very sorry, but I need to record now, because otherwise I don't really have when to record today. And someone decided to start drilling, <clears throat> you know, uh, on Thursday afternoon, when people come home from work and want to have a bit of, um, of quiet, you know. But, uh, look at this grubby. He's a cute little one. Well, all the grubbies are cute, but, uh, yeah. Boom. Yeah, those guys are killable. If, if you didn't know, the, the, the laser bugs can actually be killed if you do use a spell on them. It's quite interesting. No, I don't want to get lasered. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of that meme, which is like, uh, the sun is a giant uh, death laser. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Come to scale the mountain? I've heard tale of a summit way up there. Too far from me, though, and I'm not really one for heights. Purchase a map? Yes, please. I jabbed myself on one of those crystals back there. Awful sharp they are, and all over the place. You'd best watch yourself if you're heading up. Yeah, and if I recall correctly... Wait. Ah. Can I make it up there? It's only... Ah. I... I don't think so, but let me try one more time. No, never mind. Yeah, you need double jump in a lot of different areas because double jump is um, not the next power up uh, that's on the list, but this is the one afterwards. The peak is actually only accessible with double jump, so unfortunately we're not gonna be we're not gonna go to the peak in this episode. But we're gonna get the bench. Hello, wake up, please. Thank you. Ouch. Yeah, this guy is really not that dangerous. I say while well, I proceed to get pummeled by him. There we go. Why am I even using soul? I can just sit on the bench. And yeah, it's somewhere on the right. Uh, up there we, we we can go a bit, a bit later, but it's, it's a charm. And, uh, you know, another fight. Okay, is there any more down here? Okay, so that's where, um, where I'm gonna need to go. But 
built straight up, if I recall correctly. There's another door. Exactly. So it's back this way to go a bit higher and then to the right. Kind of like just going around instead of going straight to that point because of doors. Oh, yeah, easy. Shopkeep's key. Now I think uh, I should be able to buy that key that I was talking about prior. So, a bit of a two part ending, get, the, get using that key, if it's what I think uh, we just got is that. And activating the expansion. Oh, hi, Quarrel. Ah, quite a view now. I'm not surprised you survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it to be quite intimidating if not for your small stature. Did it sudden you to see those miners below, still laboring at their endless task? Even overcome, strong purpose has been imprinted upon their husks. The crystal ore is said to contain a sort of energy. Not as powerful as a soul, the city dollars harnessed up, uh, but far less lethal. Strange to know such ancient facts. I wonder from where my knowledge comes. At this high vantage, I can just make it out, the light from that sad little town. I doubt its residents could even comprehend the scale of the world that surrounds them. So small it seems. Yeah, I also wonder where you have all the, that knowledge, but uh, yeah, let's... Um... Actually, I'm gonna use a bit of a teaser and compare him to a character in Genshin. Think of Coral kind of like Zhongli, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. What you what you make of that little tease is up to you. Ouch. Wait. Ooh. And this is another egg. Hello egg. How are you? Nice. And get the Geo, and now, uh, as you saw, there is the lever here. But first, up here is actually an easy way to get a bunch of kills for uh, for this bug by doing that. Yeah. It's a good spot to get the journal entry, because it does have a journal entry that can be filled. Okay, nice. I don't know, no, no this is nothing this way, so it's down. We And open this up, and now... Let's go to the right. Oh my god, there's a grubby there. I wonder how we're gonna get it since we cannot dash that far. <laughs> uh, yeah, this area is actually quite fun. It's a little parkour challenge area with lasers. Oh, cool. I. Don't wanna fall in. No. Okay. <laughs> I really did not want to die there. It would have been easy to get back, but uh, it would have been annoying. Okay. Now this the way we and yeah. Cross the bridge and hello there. How are you doing? That's out of sh shaky screen. And it's time that we got the Crystal Heart. Now we can super dash. By holding down a button. Left trigger, I think. I, I know it says LT, but I never really got to, like, the names of the... Um, of the buttons. I know I know one pair are the triggers and one pair are the bumpers, but I never really... Uh, 
cared enough to uh, to really see which is which. Hello, and goodbye. Have fun. Now, there is one area. But where is it? I need to sit down at the bench. I think it's below. Ouch. I saw a lever and stuff, ouch. Okay, quickly heal up, I don't want to die. Okay, that was, that was that, yeah. Open up the door. Oh, hello. Oh, this area, yeah. Let's see if my timing is good. Oh, sure. Up, oh, bruh. Please, no. Okay. Do I want to try... Okay, let me try once. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, that's not even that much, that much geo now that I really think about it, but I guess... It, it does stop the, the stomps, which is great, so... That's actually quite good, now that I really think about it. It's worth it, it's worth it you know. Hello, Grubby. Oh no. Why do you shoot so so quickly? Okay. Uh. Okay, nice. Put those down. Where am I? I'm close to the... I'm close to the, the bench again. Okay, so if I go and sit down at the bench... Okay, map updated. Okay, gotcha. So there is going back this way. There is an area... I need to go. I think it's that way. Yeah, I I, I I don't know. There are some areas which I don't fully remember, like how uh, it goes when it comes to exp uh, to like going through it again. I don't know. Some areas are more recognizable and more ouch. And slightly easier to remember than other areas, you know? At least for me. Of course. And here we go. Um, ooh. I should be able to go through to this as well. Now that I think about it. This is a mound. And as you might have seen from the effigies outside, this might actually be another spell or something similar. But you do need, um, uh, ah. what's it called? Desolate dive, yeah, desolate dive, to, to get in. I just, I, I, I did that on, uh, to, to myself. Okay, I don't really care about those flying bugs, all I care is to get through. If I do need to get rid of them, I will get rid of them, but uh, I th think this way... Okay, that's just... Uh, well, actually, it would be a good idea to get there. 
because of soul. Ah, oh, frick. But I did get to, to that thing. Okay, so it is in here. Hello. It would be nice if I had the dream nail. See what uh, what the snail fish shaman thinks. Yeah, it's not a new spell. It's an upgrade for the desolate dive. We got the descending dark. So each of the spells in the game, which are three spells in total, has an empowered version that has some something to do with the void, possibly, which is the thing that the knight is made out of. A whole lot of like weird things happened to the knights and then stuff like that. It's just, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm the most qualified person to talk about lore, realistically speaking. Ouch. Well, you could say that, that I took a shortcut there, you know? To get back. Now, let's go back out and jump into the pit below. And I think there might be something to the right, or maybe that was, no, that was at the entrance of the, um, the area. Yeah. Now, uh, I know that's something with inspect, but uh, we're going to take a look at that a bit uh, af like afterwards. Oh, what's this? It's, it's weird. Oh. Okay, let's read. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon the teacher in her archive surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian the watcher in his spire looking over the city. Hera the beast in her den amidst the deep darkness below the king beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion Halonest last lasts eternal. Hmm. They look like the guys who tried to put me to sleep in the first after Hornet fight. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel? Or by that captive light? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet still our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. Hello again. So yeah, the, these three guys were, were put to sleep in order to, to seal in the Hollow Knight and the plague inside the Black Egg. Fade away, fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. But what if I don't want to? Have you thought about that? I'm more, I'm, I'm more of a rebellious vessel, you know? I'm not, the, I'm not your typical vessel that you see in like high school, uh, high school uh, movies and stuff. <laughs> okay, I, I, that's not something I. Uh... Okay, someone's at the door. Okay, let's uh, let, let's just go. I, I did put a little break. Uh, it, it's just that you know I just didn't want any background sound on the video, more than you know. Uh, what what would normally be? <laughs> uh, so yeah, is it, uh, this is a moth, by the way. I I do find it interesting the way that they actually have moths mo moths done in the game. They look quite interesting. Hello. What a terrible fate they visited upon you, to cast you away into the space beyond between body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of the sad, forgotten dream? Well, is this a vivid dream? Because if it's a vivid dream, I might stay a bit more, but... Uh, nah, I don't think it is. Unlucky. It's time to wake up. I would love to sleep for five more minutes, but, you know. And now... We can peer into um, the a bug's mind. Hello. Ah, you've returned. Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, 
They reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you into that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit that sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence, the precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it whenever you find it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go out into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect a hundred essence and return to me. I will teach you more. Now, I kind of have a problem. I do not remember if I need an upgraded dream nail or if I need purely the dream nail itself uh, to to do the um, the expansion. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, I want to do two more things this episode. One of which is well, both of which have to do with going back to town. So dirt mouth. And unfortunately, oh, I'll have to go all the way back into um, into the Howling Cliffs. Oh god, that's gonna take a while. Anyway. First things first, go into here and buy myself the, uh, the map. The Resting Grounds map, that's nice. Anything else I want to buy? Cocoon pin, no. Warrior Grave, to be honest. And let's get whispering roots. These are this have to do with uh, these have to do with essence. Uh, Stagway pin would be nice. That's kind of it for now. I'm gonna slowly buy everything from the from from the from the shops and stuff. But uh, yeah. What do you have there? Why? That's the key to my storeroom. I thought I'd lost it for good. Hmm. Did you find it in those old mines? Perhaps. Very curious. I have no idea how it ended up in such a remote place. Very honest of you to return it to me. Yes, very kind. And now that I can open up my old storeroom, I can sell you some of the rare stock that's been gathering dust in there. These items may be a little worn time worn, but they still retain their full market value. Very precious stuff. Take a look. There it is, the elegant key. Vessel fragment. Yeah, this one looks like a, a couple more, ma like a, a one or two more mask shards, and I think one more vessel fragment. There's a couple things that get unlocked by that, but now let's just quickly get through uh, into Howling Cliffs, and I think I, I, I just have a slight feeling that I might be going there once again. Ah, for no real reason. <clears throat> if it also requires you to get a, like a bunch of essence, that that I mean, I'm, I, I think I'm just gonna like not really care that much for it anymore, like. I really want to get it as quickly as possible to see how it feels to do it, like early, right? And not ha and not have to just go b and backtrack eight or so times to areas you've already been into, you know? Because like how the expansion works is you have a couple meetings with uh, the leader of the troop, and after each meeting you need to do three little like battles to get a flame and each one is in an area of the game like of like in different areas so not like it's three in an area okay what's that i couldn't jump there well and it's so, like three in an area like there would be three in howling cliffs and three or three in green path no it's one in green path one in howling cliffs and one in crystal peak kind of like deal so it doesn't even allow you to do them in quick succession. You still need to travel in all the areas in order to get them. And that can be very annoying at the end game. Oh, um, hi Gorb. You're not? Sure. I'm Gorb. Bow, 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 bow to Gorb. The great mind. I'm Gorb. Ascend, 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 ascend with Gorb. Yes, I want to ascend. This is Gorb. I should have actually upgraded my spell now that I uh, think about it. This is gonna take a while. Ouch. 
But let's look at the bright part. We're actually we're actually doing something now that we're here. Instead of just going to that uh, to the uh, to the area of the expansion. Okay, let me fully heal. Usually this fight doesn't take long, but I'm doing it with nail one, which uh, doesn't deal as much damage. I went into that one. There we go. Nice. And yeah, this is one of those warrior graves that um, that uh, I got a pin for. These are mini bosses made by backers, if I recall correctly, uh, that give you 100 essence per, per mini boss. I am Gorb, the great mind, the pain. Ascend! Ascend! I... I am... Well, not anymore. These ghosts... Like... I don't know if it's said specifically in uh, in the lore, but they're either like ghosts or purely the memories or some memories of the... Um, of the deceased. Because in the case of some of them, they don't really know that they died. There's like one which talks about like his own corpse that's in front of him, but like doesn't realize it's him, you know? So that's interesting. Okay, please let me do it, because otherwise I just came here again for no reason. Okay, good, good. So it does allow me. Oh, a lantern. I wonder what happens if I light it. The crimson flame has been lit. And the green troop has been called. Oh, I cannot wait. Can you actually get uh, hurt by that flame? I wonder. Now, quickly quit the menu because I really don't want to walk all the way back. I'm sorry guys, but I just don't want to. So start the game. Oh, I sat at the resting ground thing. I didn't sit in uh, Dirt, Myth. Dirt Mouse, I'm sorry. Well, I guess since we're here, let me call the, the stag and the last thing I'm gonna do is going to be the uh, the meeting with the Grim Troop because I also want to upgrade another spell and then there's only going to be one spell and it's upgrade left. Let's sit down here so I don't need to call the stag again in the resting grounds. It could be interesting if, was, if the stag would find it weird if you like. Eh, but then again not really. It just It'll be too much to like see how long it's been since you called the stack somewhere and then calculate uh, along with the time since then alongside this distance to see if this you know, I'm just blabbering at this point. I was thinking if the stag would find it weird that you went from resting grounds to dirt mouth, went a bit to the to the left and then you called him again from resting grounds, you know. But I don't think he really cares about that. Now, yeah, please get out of my way. Thank you. I also do not care. I think that there's a wizard spawning here. No, never mind. I guess he only spawns once when you start, um, when you go for the first time in the Soul Sanctum. And up, up we go. And now that's, uh, we have the elegant key. Up. Oh, I pressed the button though. Thank you. We can go in here. Which, uh, has another one of these guys. But he has friends, unfortunately.
Okay. I, I had to, to, to not say anything for a bit in order to concentrate on the fight, because the fight is just a lot more annoying because of the little ghosts. Hello. Ooh. Hey, a figure connected to a device. Yes, let's examine closely. Let's take a quick... Oh my god. That's a neat little jump scare. And now, we got the Shade Soul. Which is the upgrade to the uh, to the Blastif Soul, which I don't have Soul right now to, to show show it. Soul, give me. Boom. He's. Wait. Could you? Oh, you need double jump, but then again, oh, interesting. Uh, I can actually quit the menu again. And then uh, start. City tears. Four hours and ten minutes. That's not a bad time. Technically speaking, in the next two hours I could finish the game if I wanted to. Hmm. Well, at least the normal ending, which does sound like a good time, to be honest. I think it's twelve hours to get the hundred and uh, to get the hundred percent for one of the uh, the speedrunning achievements. Which is interesting that the developers decided to give uh, to, to put speedrunning achievements in the game. Oh, Lurbuck, what are you looking at? Ah, oh, look there! Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ugh, it fills me with dread. I think it best I try to ignore it. Oh, same thing. Do you think? Why must these... Why must these grotesque strangers intrude on our peaceful new home? Sometimes it feels like the whole world is conspiring to make me uncomfortable. <laughs> hey there. A new land. Different from the last. How many more will we see? Yeah, there are two tents. The tent on the left has uh, this thing. I don't know how to, to, to say. It's another one of the of Leg Eater's species, if you remember Leg Eater, the guy who wanted to hurt us. <laughs> ah. Did you call us? You called us and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. You carry a lot of smells on you, but you don't have one of your own funny little thing. Yeah, um, if you guys remember, Leg Eater can sell you uh, charms, but those charms, if you die, they break and you need to repair them. What Divine does, if you come with a ch one of those charms equipped and you give it to Divine, alongside like 9,000, 12,000 and 15,000 Geo, depending on which charm you give her, uh, she gives you a permanent, unbreakable version of them. Which is really cool. And now, for the main tent. Hello. Mm. You called us? Speak to Master. Do you have anything to think? When flame burns bright inside one's mind, can heat the coal cross lands in time. Hmm. Hello? Anyone here? Oh my god, I'm in a surface act! Ah! Mr. Grimm! So it was you who called us. Well met, my friend, well met. I'm Grimm, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heeded. A fine stage you chose. This kingdom followed by worm and root, perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared your roll was cant, our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first, some illumination is required. Grimchild, across these lands my king now spreads. Harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed, the flame and dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame and return it to me. 
Together, marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, the small one. For this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and, and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays a key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. So, let me get this straight. So, we called them unknowingly into the kingdom, and once I met Grim, the troopmaster, he just pawned off his child to me and told me to take care of it. So I just became a babysitter then. Wow, wow, you're, you're such, a, such a good dad. Flame, seek it out. For master, for our kin. Mm. We kind of have a problem though. How, how many notches is it? Please tell me it's one. It's two. Frick. And to get two notches, that's... Uh, that's me now then need to go to a new area. Finish this actually. Let's take this off, and let me put Grimchild. Once I finish this first quest, uh, I believe you get a little chest which has a um, which has a uh, which has a charm notch in it. Anyway, this is the child, the child of prophecy. He's a little baby now, a little flying baby. I don't even think he really does anything. And to also showcase the map, yeah, look. That's where the flames are. So one is in Green Path, one is in City of Tears, and one is in Crystal Peak. But fortunately, Crystal Peak is in an area we haven't been to. But the City of Tears and the Green Path one are still backtracking. Because both areas, you're actually. Other than. Well, in the City of Tears, not really. That might be an area you haven't been in. If you just go straight to the Soul Sanctum and then go back into the Crystal Peak, and you don't finish exploring to get the uh, to get the Stag Station, but actually you can't get out if you don't get the Stag Station. So this is a backtracking area. Same with Green Path, because you can't get to the Hornet fight without going through there, I believe. Yeah, because the one uh, right next to the bench, there's a way to go to the left, but you cannot go that way because you need dash or to use. Um, or to use, what we call it, either use an enemy to pogo on its head, or um, do some fireball, do a fireball skip. Anyway, sitting on this, this, this bench with the baby next to us, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, when we'll do this first bit of the green quest, and afterwards, most likely start working on getting the double jump. Most likely that's going to be the next goal. Anyway.